Kelsey. I'm 26 years old. I'm in sales. My name's Jamie. I'm 24 and I'm a contractor. And this right here, this is Pippa. She's about three years old. So after we met in England, Kelsey had to come back to America and then I eventually followed her. We then got married and then we were kind of like looking for our next like adventure, like our next like project. Converting a school bus was something that I was always on my like radar. So we went full force. We went and got ourselves a bus. And before we knew it, we were building it out. It was a small project. Just kidding. <laughs> and now we're here. So we decided on this lifestyle because one, we're not very high maintenance people. Um, we don't really shop that much or buy anything crazy. And we both really love to travel. Traveling can cost a lot of money, but this was just kind of a way to condense everything and make it easy while still being able to do it long term. We're looking forward to traveling uh, North America and hopefully in the near future after that, we'll go to Europe and convert a van or something there. Take this lifestyle over there. So yeah, we kind of just chose this so we could travel and take our home with us. So we don't have to worry about like getting an Airbnb or a hotel. Wherever we want to park for the night, we park. Wherever we want to go the next week, we jump in the driver's seat and go. We're both like pretty chill people as well. Like we don't plan anything well. We're very spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> and this was one of those things where we kind of just did it and before we knew it, it was finished and it's like, okay, well now we can now we can set, set sail and, and travel around America. And another factor that weighed in is the fact that I have a lot of student loan debt. Um, we don't want to put more debt on that by getting mortgage or anything like that. So this, this just kind of fit in um, more ways than one. Yep, it ticked so many boxes it was hard not to do it. So we got the bus in March of 2019. We thought it would take us about like six months to do the project. But of course, as everyone knows, with a project like this, it takes way longer than you expect. So all in all, the conversion itself took us eight months and that was like us working on it on some evenings and then like pretty much every weekend we were solid on this project. We were like blinkers on getting <laughs> it done. So eight months all in all to, to convert it. So the main changes that we made to the bus are pretty much everything. We started by taking the seats out. That was actually a lot harder than we thought it would be. A lot of painful nights and a lot of teamwork shouting yep. to each other. We took away the yellow paint so the outside is not yellow at all anymore. It's like every single color besides yellow. <laughs> Added a bathroom, a kitchen, electricity, like solar panels. So there's, I mean, a lot of people who come in here say it doesn't really look like a bus anymore, especially because we did the roof raise. So whilst we're talking about the roof raise, this was by far the most challenging part of the build. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine, we took the bus, removed all the windows, pretty much stripped it down to the bare bones. Then we went all the way around the bus, cut the roof off, and then put the roof on like car jacks, lifted the roof up 16 inches. Sketchy, sketchy car jacks as well. Not the expensive kind, like the $30 kind, because we were trying to stay in budget. Yeah. So the other things in the bus that were kind of difficult were like the electricity, because like, I'm no electrician, and like to do all the solar panels on the roof with the inverters and the batteries and getting all that system to work. That was definitely a learning curve, but like once you do it, it's such a rewarding feeling. When we finished the bus, uh, I think like the first night just sleeping in it, just looking at everything and just being like, wow, I remember when we did that. It was so surreal to like just sit there and look and looking at things and you're like, wow, we did that. I remember when we spent a weekend doing that. Oh, I remember when that fell and yeah. that broke and we had to fix it. As you're converting the school bus, you, you forget how much that you're actually doing. And there's certain points when you're converting it that you're like, oh my gosh, we haven't made any progress. Like it feels like you've done so much and the bus just looks the same. But then you get to that level where everything just starts to come together in the last month. And when we moved in and made our first meal. And it started like, you put all the homey touches in, like plants and pictures, whatever. And it just, it always just ties in and just feels, feels, feels real. So now that we've moved into the bus, it's completely finished and we've kind of ironed out all the issues that, like the little niggly issues, we're ready to hit the road. There's just one small problem, coronavirus right now. So we're just waiting for the storm to pass and we're hoping that things get cleared up soon and we can take it, take it out west or um, we don't, again, we're not planners, so we don't have a set plan of where we want to go. Um, we do know we want to go to really warm places. We want to go out west. We want to go to Florida. Um, we love we wanna... the sunshine. We yeah. love the beach. <laughs> we're not really winter people. so Wherever it's sunny, you'll find us. So 
throughout this whole entire build, it wouldn't have been possible without my parents, so we just wanted to kind of add in a special thank you to them. They let us live with them while we were converting the bus in their yard. and. Uh, to have a huge giant school bus in your yard, I mean a lot of people would say no, but my parents didn't even question it. Um, they've always been so supportive of all of my decisions, no matter how crazy they are. So just wanted to say a quick thank you. And a few facts on the bus itself. So it's 38 feet in length, interior space is 30 feet. It's a 2001 Thomas Freightliner school bus. We raised the roof 16 inches. Because obviously we're very tall, so we needed the headroom inside the bus. And it cost us a total of $26,000.